Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, yes, we are answering um, these column 1, column 2 um, questions based on human reproduction and reproduction in vertebrates. So in preparation for your test or an exam, these questions are going to help you basically check your understanding for the topics that are indicated already here on your screen, which is human reproduction and reproduction in vertebrates. Now, we already know, I'm assuming that you've already checked the format of your question paper and you've been exposed to the format of the life sciences question paper. Now, this type of a question is normally in question 1.3 of section A, whereby you are given a statement in column one so you are given a statement in column one and you need to indicate um, whether the statement that you find in column one applies to either the first option that you're given in column two, which is A only, either it's A only or B only or both options that you're given apply to the statement or none of the options given in column two apply to this particular statement. Now, before we even get into um, the statements, guys, please do not skip this part. I do need you to listen. Please do not fast forward. Okay. Now, you need to be able to follow the instructions, guys. They are telling you that you need to write A only or B only or both A and B or none. But now we find learners losing marks because of not following the instructions. Please follow the instructions. If, for example, in our first um, statement here, nutrition provided by the egg, if you are saying it's only ovipary that matches that statement, you write A only. The word only, just, just write it, guys. It has to be there. Just write it, right? But one thing that I need to mention is about this one, whereby both options that you are given match the statement in column one. You do need to write both A and B as indicated in the instruction. Once you write A dash B, we don't know what that is. You're going to lose that two marks. Or if you write A comma B, we don't know what that is. You are going to lose that two marks. So please, please, please follow the instruction. So write both A and B. Okay? Very, very important. All right. It's my teacher voice, guys. I have to emphasize that because, I mean, it's two marks, guys, in this particular question. And I always say 1.1 multiple choice and 1.3 um, column one, column two two marks each guys every question there is worth two marks so you cannot cannot be losing that two marks all right let's answer nutrition provided by the egg so it's both a and b so check how i'm answering it both a and b not what you are doing here when we mark your papers that is incorrect both a and b then you get your two marks Unfertilized eggs um, are released from the female's body. That is external fertilization. So I will just circle the correct one, right? Remember in the question paper, you don't circle. Obviously, because I'm recording this video, you know exactly what's happening. So I'm circling B. So that is B only. Okay, you know what? To avoid a lot of questions, B only. When it's both, I will do that. Okay. Then the blood vessel that transports oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus. Oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus. That will be the vein one. So umbilical vein. So the answer is A only. Can you see how I'm writing only after the letter only? Oh, grr, please. Are you also going to write it in your exam? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> 3.4. The young develops, <coughs> sorry, the young develops and is nourished in an amniotic egg that is retained in the mother. So that is inside the mother's body. Um, 3.4. That will be none. So none. Okay. Eggs incubated in a nest. Uh, that is A only. 
gestation period required that is b only um, offspring are born small and helpless small and helpless that is altricial development a only functions in guests exchange that will be a only serves as a source of nutrition that is b only remember guys to like this video um to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already guys it's free it's like following someone on instagram or or tiktok you just hit that subscribe button that's it it's free you don't have to pay anything to be subscribed to my channel please also do not skip the ads guys please 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 10 leads to wastage of a large number of sperm that is obvious that is b only b only all right forms the placenta coronic villi and endometrium that will be both a and b check how i'm answering it or i'm writing it a both a and b the production of ova by meiosis is it menopause or ovulation 3.12 it's definitely none okay a hollow ball of cells into which fertilized ovum develops uh 13 there will be none because that's a blastula remember so both the options given are incorrect okay the reproductive structures where meiosis occurs testes and ovaries that is definitely both both a and b remember guys in this channel the rules here guys is that you also take out your pen and paper and you answer um the questions also on your side and you indicate in the comment section how many you got correct or anything that you want me to clarify or specific videos of specific topics that you want me to record you indicate all of that in the comment section place where fertilization occurs in females be only 16 outer jelly like layer of the ovum definitely none hormones secreted by the pituitary gland thyroxine fsh uh, definitely b only stimulates the fo formation of the graphene follicle none 